Hello everybody, this is Jaren from MarineAndReef.com. Today we're doing a product spotlight on these Inland Seas Nuclear Canister Filters. These canister filters are light commercial to high-end residential filters. What that means is that they're built to a standard that's much higher than your standard traditional hobbyist level filter. The body of these filters are built out of clear PVC, which is extremely hard and durable. It's going to have far fewer breaks and replacement parts than many of the other filters on the market. Another thing these filters do differently is they use a different kind of filtration media than standard canister filters. They're going to use these pleated mechanical filtration cartridges. Now there's two versions of these cartridges. There is a 25 micron version like this one here. What's nice about this cartridge is that 25 microns is smaller than the human eye can see. So it'll polish your water very, very well. You won't be able to see anything that it can't remove. What's also very unique about these cartridges is because the way they're formed involves paper being weaved in and out repeatedly, this cartridge is 30 square feet of surface area, which means it would require 30 square feet of rolled up filter pad to equal the surface area of this single cartridge. Because of that, this cartridge can go much longer than a standard canister filter pad before needing cleaning or replacement. It just simply won't clog up. There's another version of this cartridge, which is the 100 micron version. This cartridge is more similar to a traditional canister filter as far as what it will remove. It'll still make your water look really good, and it's a better choice for planted aquariums or reef aquariums where there's a lot of small particulates that can plug up fine filter media very fast. Inside the center of these cartridges, there's also a little bit of empty space that can be used to house carbon. The carbon will polish the water even further by not just removing particles, but also removing dissolved compounds and discolorations like tannins or other compounds that turn the water green and brown. Now when you purchase these canister filters, they're going to come with the filter body, some basic plumbing parts to get you started plumbing the unit up. One thing they're not going to include is a pump. There's a few reasons for this. Most of them are the fact that many people are very, very opinionated as to what pump is the best pump. The pump we recommend are Awaki pumps. We find they last a very, very long time, and they also handle the head pressure from the resistance in the cartridge much better than a lot of other pumps on the market. It's not uncommon for me to see Awaki pumps last as long as 15 to 20 years, even without ever being cleaned. And that's something that is very important in the commercial environment that these filters are often used in. Now, one of these filters is typically good to filter up to about a 125 to 150 gallon saltwater swim tank or freshwater swim tank. If you're wanting to simply polish the water and not filter it exclusively with this filter, say in a reef tank where a protein skimmer is doing most of the filtration, you can usually polish up to about a 200 gallon tank with one of these filters. Now, if your tank is larger than that and you're planning to go to a two, three, four, five hundred 500 gallon system, there are extensions available for the nuclear canister filters. The way the extensions work is essentially they're another filter body where you would remove the clamp, place it on top, and attach an extension, giving you another cartridge. That's going to roughly double the capacity of the filter. So you can add one extension, filter up to 200 gallons, three go up to about 300 gallons or polishing about 600. Once you get to about three tall, it's gonna get very hard to reach into the filter and service it, so that's usually the limit. Though you can go higher if you're willing to use some tools to reach in and pull the last cartridge out. Now, these canister filters are designed to be plumbed in drilled aquariums, or aquariums with holes in the bottom and drilled for a closed loop, or aquariums with an overflow box in the back. If you don't have one of those aquariums, you may want to use this Lifeguard Custom Flow. This is the starter kit, the more basic version. This gives you basically an inlet and an outlet that hang over the back of the aquarium, allowing water to go to the pump itself, then through the filter, and then back out of the filter, back into the aquarium, both the inlet and outlet. The Inland Seas Nuclear Canister Filters come in a few models, the most popular of which is the model 522, which includes the 100 micron cartridge along with the bat of, of carbon. That model is 17550. The second most popular version is going to be the model 533, which includes the 25 micron cartridge as well as a bag of carbon. That model is 16950. If you need a way to plumb the canvas to filter up, you
you can use the Lifeguard Custom Flow Starter Kit, which is $24.99. And if you're looking for an extension, the prices vary based on what media is included. The most popular model 522 extension is $145.50.